the number of haploid endical transplant are uh, actually booming or uh, increasing rapidly, both in Europe and in the States. And the first uh, comparison is that uh, we did in the acute leukemia working party and also was done by CRBMTR and in China, compared uh, unrelated transplant to haploidentical uh, transplant. And we show that uh, identical transplant are not worse than uh, nine out of 10, and mostly also 10 out of 10 uh, unrelated uh, transplantation. So with the invention of the post-transplant cyclophosphamide in the States, and then uh, 70 to 80 percent of the haplotransplant in Europe are with post-transplant cyclo or the Chinese approach with uh, ATG, uh, we uh, dared to start uh, comparing the haploidentical transplant to sibling transplantation, because uh, always sibling transplant uh, was the gold, uh, gold standard uh, for uh, transplantation, at least in patients with uh, fair CR. And so in a couple of papers, we compared haploidentical transplant uh, to sibling transplantation. The first one was published in Lancet Hematology this year in uh, more than 100,000 uh, transplant in various hematological uh, malignancies. And uh, because uh, the transplant-related mortality was higher with the haplo, mainly due to infection, at the end of the day, uh, the result with the sibling transplant were better, but uh, relapse, at least for uh, intermediate risk and low risk uh, hematological malignancies, according to the least, uh, disease uh, risk index, was lower with the haplotransplant. We then uh, zoomed on AML, and again, it depends on the, on the uh, cytogenetic risk of AML. Results were somewhat different in high risk and intermediate risk AML. So, uh, for instance, uh, in high risk AML, there was lower elapsed risk with the haploidentical transplant, but overall, the, uh, the sibling transplant uh, were uh, uh, better. We also hooked with the CIBMTR to compare a elderly sibling to offspring haploidentical transplant because uh, there was some idea that uh, younger uh, uh, offspring uh, haploidentical transplant will be better than elderly uh, sibling. They usually the difference uh, in age is about 30 years, but we failed to show advantage of the haploidentical transplant. So in haploidentical transplant, both in the age of 18 to 54 and then 55 to 75, there was less chronic GVHD, but in the patient above the age of 54, with the offspring haplo, there were more mortality, non-engraftment and transplant-related mortality. And therefore, in the, and therefore, at the end of the day, uh, the sibling transplantation uh, were better. We also compared in a relapsed refractory ML, haplo versus sibling, and here again, the, uh, the relapse rate was lower with haplo, but uh, the uh, overall survival, disease-free survival, and uh, GRFS, so a graph uh, GVHD-free, relapse-free survival, were better with sibling. As for the anti-leukemia effect, uh, there was some notion that because of the broad HLA disparity, the graph versus leukemia effect will be stronger with haplo, but we failed to show it in a leukemia paper published already in 2016, and then we, for second transplant, in a recent paper, we compared haplo to the, to the sibling or unrelated. So the same donor, sibling or unrelated for the first transplant or changing the donor to haplo in the second transplant. And again, there was no stronger GVL effect. But when uh, in May we published a comparison on behalf of the acute leukemia between haplo and the sibling and unrelated with post-transplant cyclo, and here, the, 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 
came here a lapse was lawyer with Haplo. So overall, the, the result of Haplo identical transplant are improving substantially, and it uh, is uh, still a second best in most of the cases to a sibling transplantation, but in some cases, the relapse rate is lower with the haplo identical transplant. And the main reason for the superiority of the sibling is the high uh, non uh, transplant related mortality with haplo, and mainly due to infection, and maybe, or most probably, or it's conceivable that when we uh, will know how better how to uh, reduce the infection rate in haplo identical transplant and improve the immune reconstitution, result will be uh, uh, the same with haplo identical transplant, but for a disease that needs a strong GVL effect, maybe a result will be better with haplo. And we still think that the graft versus leukemia effect is stronger with haplo identical uh, transplant. The problem is that uh, there is the uh, issue of uh, losing of uh, haplotype lost that uh, was uh, discovered by the San Rafael group and, uh, and especially Professor Vago. And this is the mechanism of a relapse in 24% of the haploidentical transplant, while it's only uh, 11 or something percent in sibling transplantation. So because of this mechanism, we think that it's a, uh, the end result is uh, that not in all cases we see the stronger uh, GVL or the less relapse of the haploidentical transplant.